calculus, right? Sure. Can, can you tell me uh, why the antiderivative computes the area under a curve? Because it's kind of like a Riemann sum, and it makes the integral, and it, it, it does that. Like, oh, Hi, David. Oh, how are you today? I'm good. How are you, Mrs. Candy? I'm good. I'm wondering if you have any clue as to why the antiderivative is used to compute area under the curve. Because it's a lot more accurate than using Riemann sums. Well, I have a question for you. Okay. Um, why does the antiderivative compute the area under the curve? Because it uses a infinite Riemann sum to calculate infinitely many little itty bitty rectangles for the entire area under the curve. To find the area under the curve of a rectangular function, this is your function. Set up an integral from A to B, and if F's positive, the area will be. Did you take calculus? I'm currently taking calculus. Do you know why the antiderivative can be used to compute the area under a curve? Yes, I do. It's because when we, when we take dy dx and multiply it by dx, we're left with just dy, which is the change in y of the original function. Very good. Hey, Chi. Hi. What are you going to explain to us today? Uh, why the antiderivative of x gives you the area underneath the curve. Cool. Okay, you have a function, let's say, so I guess this gives you the values of prime of x, so it's so antiderivative function, whatever, and then if you find the area under this curve, then uh, f prime of x is, can be also, re can also be represented as dy dx, and then this change in, this width is dx. Which is just the y value. Change in the y value. Yeah, change the y value. To find the area under the curve of a rectangular function, this is your function. Set up an integral from A to B, and if F's positive, the area will be. What comes next? In polar form, it's quite different. One half r squared is the integrand. The pi inside the circle is indeed theta, but it's disguised. To find the area under the curve of a rectangular function, Set up an integral from A to B, and if F's positive, the area will be. You will find the displacement, even if F is negative. But if you want the total area, then take the absolute value before you end. 